All right, so when the uh, sling is applied correctly on your rifle out as far as you're going to be able to, to put it uh, on the foregrip and back as far back on the stock as possible, uh, the stock still facilitates the use of full extension and then uh, from there being able to actually extend out past the body because of the elasticity of it. If it's uh, too large for the task you need to do a hand, one simple hand grab here, tighten it up, it stretches to fit here so you still have the ability to to push forward with the gun but once you transition the gun moves out of the way and it stays tight to the body and it doesn't bounce exceedingly uh, once you're moving and, and running so if you do transition to your pistol you've still got the gun out of the way to bring it back around and extend it all you're going to do is the exact same thing pull it by the handle pull it out and now you're back up into your workspace. All right, so the, the sling facilitates the use of transitioning from strong side to weak side shooting. So from the high rated position, I mount in the strong side position. I can then switch over to the left side or my weak side pretty easy by switching my hands over to my gun and I don't choke myself. And at the same time, the, the sling itself doesn't cut into the, the skin of my neck or even around in my shoulders because of the uh, elasticity and the way that it's built here. So I'm able to transition over well enough both right and left side. Yep. All right, so for the transition from the rifle to the, the handgun, the, the sling facilitates that as well. Uh, you can have it moderately tightened, all right, by just uh, tightening the, the strap down about halfway uh, and still get all the full functionality that you need. The good thing about that though is whenever I go to transition from the rifle position down to the pistol, it keeps it in, in position here without a lot of extra bounce added to the rifle which will then pull you off balance as you're taking your shot here so it uh, just leads to faster engagement times once you're done and going back into the position to get back up into the high ready with your rifle and get your gun back in action it still stays where it needs to and holds the gun in tight so one of the working tasks that a, a medic might have to do is approach a patient with the rifle so it, all he's it's a simple task all he has to do is close the sling all the way down put it behind his back and now it keeps it out of the way as he is working on the patient. Uh, not hitting the patient with a hot barrel and it's not flagging the patient. He can do whatever he needs to and then if he needs to pick up on a litter, he picks up. If they have to engage something, they put the patient down. Because of the flexibility of the sling, the guy can come around, bring the gun out to full extension and engage without having to adjust the sling. That's something you can't do with other slings. All right, so another working task is building climbing. With the sling tightened up, it still gives you the flexibility to the outstretch, but I can put it behind the, behind the back, climb the ladders, do all I need to do. If I need to transition the pistol to clear, I can do that. But once I get up top of my structure, it's easier to transition back to rifle by just grabbing the rifle and pulling it up. And even at full tightness, it still extends enough for me to use it.